Okay, so it is a bit of a clickbaity title, but can you become financially free in the next five years? I believe yes. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down year on year what you can do to become financially free too. Year number one, first of all, we have to define what exactly is financial freedom. And I won't lie, this is something that over time, I've actually found really confusing myself because I was like, oh, financially free, you have to be a millionaire, right? Or is it 10 million, is it 5 million? What you need to understand is there's a very big difference between being rich and wealthy. And rich is, how much money have you got right now? Let's say you've got 10 million in the bank account right now, or you make 10 million a year, let's face it, you are pretty bloody rich, okay? Whereas wealthy, you could actually have 50 grand in the bank and be wealthy. Let me explain. Wealth is based on time, as is financial freedom. So if we're looking for money, really you wanna ascertain wealth in your life rather than rich, attain it. So if you make 10 million a year, but you spend 9.9999 million, then you're not particularly wealthy because you're left with about one pound at the end of the year. Let's say you make 50,000 a year, but you only spend 25,000 a year, then you are very wealthy. The reason for that is each year you are making two years worth of living money. So this is where it really links in with financial freedom, because financial freedom is when you're design, designing a genuine lifestyle that you want to live. By the way, this isn't, oh yeah, I'm going to fly my jets, I'm going to do this, because I promise you that's not going to give you much happiness. It's really about well, what about going to a job that I love, not for the money? Maybe you want to volunteer rather than work. Maybe you want to travel on a few holidays each year. Maybe you want a decent car, but not a Ferrari. Maybe you don't want a plane, but maybe you want to fly first class every now and then. Things like that. Let's say it was, I don't know, 40,000 a year in order to achieve your financial freedom number. The next thing within year one, I'll put B on there, is you want to understand what skill and opportunity vehicle you want to play a part in. Now, the reason for this is in order for you to start making money, you need an active source of income. It's a really weird thing in property. It's the, in fact, it's the only entrepreneurial space I've ever seen where people seem obsessed with passive income. But before we can get passive income, we need active income. And active income in the entrepreneurial sense is known as fast money, and passive income is slow money. For example, I can put 100,000 into an investment and make 10,000 a year. That is slow money, and a 10% return on my investment would be considered a really good return on my money. Whereas that's slow money. If I invest £100,000 into my marketing, I will likely make mm, between half a million and 750000 in about 12 weeks. Now, of course, that's revenue at the cost of delivery, stuff like that. But that's a lot faster as an income. Now, I'm making the assumption you want your skill and opportunity vehicle to be within property. And the most common active source of that is something called deal packaging or property trading. Now, I'm not going to talk around that because it's not this video. If you want to get educated and actually invest in that, put education in the comments. I run a company that actually educates people to do this. But it could be in deal packaging. It could be property trading. It could be rent to rent. It could be arbitrage trading. It could be, um, I don't know, shorting stocks. It could be uh, drop shipping on Amazon. Whatever it is, you can make sure you're using that opportunity vehicle, improving your skill and charging on a per hour basis or from an entrepreneur's point of view, per unit basis. And that's largely going to get into year one. But before you can do that, You'll notice I mentioned education, and that is the key word. You must educate yourself. Now, education has a cost applied to it. You either pay with money or you pay with time. Now, the truly successful people pay with money, 
And those people that wait too late tend to pay with time. The reason I say that is money comes and goes, it goes up and down. And I can promise you that Warren Buffett right now would give up 99% of his wealth to be 20 years old again. Therefore, Warren Buffett values time over money. As one of the smartest people in the world, you should probably follow that. The reason I'm saying that is so many people, including myself, by the way, we give up so much of our time to make money. And that's including education, the school of hard knocks you may have seen. And these people are proud to go out. I didn't start with any education. I did this. Yeah, you made fucking loads of mistakes. And it's cost you five years of your life that you are never, ever getting back. So Obviously, I'm biased because I'm an educator, not only on YouTube for paid for education, but you don't need to work with me. That's absolutely fine. But find somebody that can educate you. Find somebody that's five to 10 years ahead of you, and you can utilize what they've learned in 10 years. You can condense into five. If they've learned and implemented it in five, you can condense it into maybe two or three. And that's what you want to be looking to achieve, investing in your education, buying back your time, in year one. Moving on to year two, and this is the year of active financial freedom. People make a big mistake and think financial freedom means you can quit your job, you can do anything, stop working another day in your life and you are financially free. First of all, can you get that shit out of your head? It's peddled by, ironically, course providers like myself, but I don't actually peddle that, but that's what they're selling, this dream that you'll never work and you'll be on the beach. It's like, fuck off. Like the thing that we can really take account of now is you can work from it wherever you want, but that's not really unique to being an entrepreneur anymore. Half of your staff, if you work in a business or if you've got a job yourself, during COVID, you probably worked from home. Oh my God, you could work from anywhere in the world. It's not that special anymore, right? So active financial freedom. The other reason it pisses me off is we've always got a job. Like, do you really believe you're going to take care of all your finances? And you're like, right, well, that's that. It's like, I'm going to do nothing now. It's like, no, you'll find another purpose. Maybe you'll just pay attention to your job and actually do something you genuinely enjoy and you feel passionate about. And if you don't, then get out of the job anyway, right? So active financial freedom. This is the task this year. You are trying to exchange that skill, time, into muhala, money right? And you are going to exchange that. Now, I know a lot of people don't like doing it, but what do you think deal packaging is? What do you think property trading is? You are now utilizing that skill, investing it into getting financial freedom within that year. Now, we're in the end of year two now. I'd expect anywhere from 50 to 100,000 pounds. And again, if you don't know how to do that, you can watch more of my videos or get educated directly. But ultimately, end of year two, we're looking to achieve this figure of financial freedom in an active sense. Moving on to year three, this is the year of transition. Now, it's going to be a year of transition from two angles. Number one, it's time to reinvest, yes. Education comes back on. You may be shocked to hear that I've invested about £300,000 now into my education. People are like, how oh, the fuck? So, well, because let's face it, when you're making a decent amount of money, what are you going to spend your money on? Really, it's only investments, marketing, and my personal development. They're the only three things I can think of as genuinely worthwhile to invest in in a heavy basis. So, the reason this is transition is you need to ask yourself, where's your mentor at right now? If you don't have a mentor at this point, like, well, you, you probably haven't reached this point without a mentor, to be honest. But now you need to look at your mentor and go, is he or she far enough ahead of me that I'm catching up or am I still far behind? And are they reinvesting themselves? A really big thing for me is when I look at my mentors, I always ask them, have you invested in yourself in the last year? Are you investing in products, courses, mentors, developing themselves? The reason that's important to me is it tells me a lot about a person. If the individual is no longer reinvesting in their personal development, do they really buy into the cycle? Are they really in education for the money? Or is it really going to help me develop? Especially in the property world, because I need to know that their skills are really honed. So transition number one is to reinvest either into the same mentor for the next level product, the next level service, year two, whatever it is, or to reinvest into a different mentor. 
Number two transition is in the job and outsourcing. Now, I am not saying that you need to quit your job at all, okay? Now, hopefully by now, you're less reliant on your job. But if you love it, why would you quit it? But maybe you want to start growing and thinking about the longevity of this business. And we're really starting to transition into the passive mindset. So we need to start thinking about all, uh, outsourcing. What I do is I use something called onlinejobs.ph. And these are outsourcers in the Philippines. Now, the reason I use the Philippines is really hardworking, good internet, great work ethic. And because it's in a developing country, the rate of pay is a lot less than you would pay here. So a good payout there is maybe £500 a month for a full-time salary. So And the, the outputs are really, really strong. So you get great value for money, a win-win situation, and a great situation for the currency exchange, right? You also might want to think about just cutting down the hours. And I'm not saying quit your job altogether, especially if you love it, but... If you can increase the amount of time you're spending on the business and decrease the amount of time you're spending on administrative and non-money-making tasks, you are going to accelerate the amount of money you're making both actively and passively going into year four. Moving on to year four after Alex has just told me he's going to quit his job in five years. This is the time to build the brand if you want to and reinvest. The reason I'm saying if you want to is this is where you're going to start thinking about utilizing your skill and upgrading your opportunity vehicle. Now, this is slightly outside of property, but really should give you an element of where I've gone with this, right? So if you've built your brand, and this will make sense in year five more, you can increase that opportunity vehicle. So how can you increase the van? Well, you can do some Facebook Lives. You can obviously go on YouTube like this. Um, and you have to reinvest in this quite heavily. Maybe you want to pump some ads out there. Maybe you want to get on Instagram. Don't get your account deleted three times like me. For no reason, I didn't do anything. Um, and then all of that is reinvesting into this brand. The reason I really like building, especially a personal brand, is that if you decide to pivot out of investment, out of property, out of whatever you're doing, you've still got the subscribers. I don't know how many I've got at the time of you watching this, but over 70,000, right? Um, it could be that you want to go from property to general wealth. Maybe you want to talk about traveling. Now that I've created financial freedom, I'm traveling the world, I'm going to do a travel blog. The point is you've got the subscribers there or followers, they've bought or friends on Facebook, they've bought into your journey and they're more interested in your development. The reason that this is so important is when you've got a personal brand, you can direct the flow of that if it's aligned to what you're talking about. It can't just go complete opposite and your subscribers, your followers, your fans will always follow in that direction if you want to. If you don't want to make this a long-term active theme, you can then reinvest in the portfolio. So stocks, shares, tiny bit of crypto. If you're going to go there, don't over leverage it. I personally don't go anywhere near crypto, by the way. Or obviously my favorite property, which I've been told I'm not allowed to draw 3D houses anymore. <laughs> Just so you're aware. So we're going to reinvest into this, which brings us on to year five. Year five is the passive freedom. So I mentioned the opportunity vehicle. Well, say for example, I'm doing deal packaging as my core business, and I can make that into, I don't know, let's say up to 20 million a year. That's probably the sites that I've got with my business. Not there right now, by the way. It's gonna take a long time to get there. But then what I can do is increase my opportunity vehicle through the skill that I'm developing by increasing my brand. For example, doing this YouTube channel, telling you that I can show you how to do deal packaging on a smaller scale so that you can make some money too. So I could start looking at education and I could turn that into a multi-million pound business as well. Then maybe what I can do, and I got this off a guy called Alex Hormozzi, by the way, so it wasn't actually my concept. I could then look into B2B, where maybe I could get involved in other people's business on a consulting basis and make more money. The point is, the more you build your brand, the more you build your skill set, the more you can add value along the way and make more money. Now, all of this, in my opinion, is to never, 
ever, 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 ever spend more than you need to from earned or active income. All of this earned income, and this is originally Robert Kiyosaki, right, would go into the passive income stream. So my most common one, as you know, is property. And then what happens is this creates the passive income over the months, over the years, and it just circulates round if you want to, but I'm not sure that quickly deteriorated in some sort of Japanese character there, didn't it? Going back into the property, and then it cycles around and around and around. Now, what you need to do now that you know your passive income figure, let's say, for example, it was the 40,000 a year, and let's assume you've done your analysis and you know that you can invest at 10%. What that will mean is you need 10 times the amount of money in order to achieve that. So by the time you get to the start of year five, you will need 400,000 net. So after your taxes, after you've lived off of it and reinvest that into your vehicles that is going to pay you this passive income on a annual basis. Now, that may surprise you that you're waiting until year five in order to do this, but I can guarantee you after the last eight plus years of watching people do this, the faster you try to get into passive income with very little money, the slower it is you're going to find financial freedom. So I hope that's been valuable. And this is really angled at two people now. If you're somebody that doesn't have the money and wants to create that active income, put education in the comments right now. I can show you how to build your portfolio and build a deal packaging property trading business. And if you are somebody that's got 100,000 or more and you want to start building that portfolio, but you don't have the time, then put APG in the comments. And I've also got a business that helps you build that portfolio on your behalf. Let me know what you think of this. This is just my concept. And I'm really only sharing from what I've done personally, which is all I can ever do. There are other ways to do this. I've just found this to be the most effective, low stress way in order to create this financial freedom in your future. If you're new to the channel and you want to find out more about property, make sure to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And if you did get value from this, make sure to lightly destroy the like button and I'll see you in the next video.